Mrs. Claus. This is Ma. And we're on, on the swing. swing. Drinking our morning coffee. <laughs> on a rainy Saturday. Yes, but the rain sounds so peaceful. Yes, right now it's just a good old steady rain. Mm -hmm. Filling the water table. Yes, it's really, um, it's still a beautiful day that the Lord's made. Oh, yeah. And uh, I guess our wood chips down there are distributing this water uh, evenly and it's not like flooding or anything like that but it just wood chips seems to distribute the water mm -hmm. not too much and not too little and just keeps the ground moist under mm -hmm. well as you all know I've really been doing a lot of canning and um, so been working on tomatoes and green beans well the other day my granddaughter Elena Faith come in and uh, she comes spend the day with grandma. So what? He's a cat bird. Okay. Yeah. So what great time is a, no better time than to teach her uh, how to can. Well, I tell you what, that's what we need to do with our mm -hmm. kids and our grandkids. We need to teach them mm -hmm. so they can carry on the traditions mm -hmm. of home right. and not lose lose mm -hmm. all the goodies and the. Mm -hmm. uh, all the, the techniques and right stuff. right like our little grandsons and all come over and they like to mm -hmm. help their pappy oh, yeah. on the farm and do you know I think that's one of the greatest teachings there is that we can do is to teach our children and grandchildren self-sufficiency yes and how to survive yeah and that's one thing I have to say that we really did do with our children when they were here was taught them how to survive and all of my children know, if, you know, if the power goes up, they don't panic because they know exactly what to do. Oh, yeah. So. Now, now for the, those of y'all that didn't know, we have 10 living children. Mm -hmm. And I want to ask Ma how many grandkids. Well. <laughs> and great-grandkids. Mm, I think we're in the 30s, yeah. Yeah, 30 37, something. I think. Something, but anyway. <laughs> so there's a lot of teaching has to be done. Mm -hmm. But you know, I love teaching them, and especially when they want to learn. Um, yeah. So they do. Uh, anyway, and I teach them the basics. You know, sometimes you can get things so long drawn out that people just lose their interest because, Lord, by the time you get everything ready, you can they say like, "Well, turn it off. That's just too long," because everybody knows. Uh, well, most everybody knows that when you can, you got, your jars have got to already be cleaned and your seal's ready to go and all that, so we don't need to, you know, have to really go through all that. No, but anyway, yeah. she she really had fun, so I told her daddy when he come, and I said, well, now, there ain't no reason why that y'all can't go get you some canning jars and get yourself canning, because she already knows how. And uh, I did a video, that. I did a video with her, yeah. and... Uh, in the end of that video, and this is the truth, because you know I tell you the truth. She was there talking, and uh, I said, now, you talk from your heart, honey. You say whatever you want to say from your heart. So at the end of this video, that he's going to show you the video, too. Um, she spoke from her heart, and it was so, it was so sweet. Heart touching. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, but our grandkids love us. They yeah. love to come, and every time they hit my door, I don't care if they are full. They say, I'm hungry. I hungry, my mom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry. Yeah. But anyway, not to drag this long, we no. want to get right into the mm -hmm. uh, canning video where she's canning mm -hmm. uh, green beans. And um, so yeah. what we want you to do, if you're watching this on YouTube, hit that like mm -hmm. button there because mm -hmm. it does something to the algorithm of uh, YouTube and helps us a good bit. You know what? Two years ago, I couldn't even say that word. Lord algorithm. algorithm. <laughs> that, sounds that, like, that sounds like a dance. I in know. The 50s. Well, that's for sure because <laughs> Lord, at the words they come up with. Yeah, I think it's just like camouflaging for mm -hmm. we got you. Yeah. Big finagle words. But anyway, we're going to get right into this video. Don't forget to subscribe mm -hmm. to our YouTube channel, Mom and Paul on the Swing. Yes, and we love those comments and all the good, yeah. all the things that happens. It just tickles my heart. It does. And quit buttoning in on me there, oh. Mom. But anyway, <laughs> this is you, live. <laughs> I want you to hit that uh, thumbs up button, that like button mm -hmm. there. 
and we'll get right into the video. This is Paul. This is Ma, and, and God me. bless you, and have a wonderful day. And we're on the swing. And we're on the swing. Mm -hmm. We are on the swing. Yeah. So, yeah. And it's raining out there. Mm -hmm. My name is Lena Stevens and today my mama will be showing me how to can some green beans. We have already cut the ends off and snapped them into tiny pieces to put them into the jars to start canning. Now I'm going to place them in the jar and mama said to fill it up to the neck so that's what we're going to do. <laughs> Okay, so now we have it filled up. So now we're going to pour the teapot into the thing, the can, <laughs> into all the way up to the neck. This is really hot, so you have to be careful. And then I take the spatula and I take all of the air out onto the sides to make sure there are no air bubbles. Because it'll be all bubbly if the air bubbles are in it. Okay, so now that we have that done, we have our paper towel ready with vinegar. So now we're going to wipe the rim. Now we're going to take our lid lifter and we're going to take the lid. Oop, we already have another lid attached to it. So then we're just going to take it. You don't have to push it down, you just stick it on there. Then you're going to take this and just finger it. And then that's your first can of green beans. To put in the pot. So now we're going to put it in the pot. The pot is hot. It has really hot water in it. So that is what all Mama taught me today and we will be back with you when everything's done. Okay, so now we're about to put the last jar into the pot. And there are all eight jars to put in the pot. We used all of our ingredients and all of everything. And so they are now out of the pressure canner and here is our finished product. All of everything and not only my grandma, which I call my mom, she has taught me how to make canned green beans how to make, how to teach me to make bread. Um, she's been an inspiration for my life and um, I just, you've been with me all my life and you've helped me out on the farm and I go pick tomatoes for you. Every time I come inside you're like, go sit down, you work so hard. I work hard for them because they mean so much to me. I love you guys and Thank you for being in my life and thank you for being the best grandparents ever. I love you guys so much. Hi folks, so today my name is Lena. <laughs> Hang on, I said today. Keep going, we can cut that off. Keep going. And now since we wiped the rim, we are going to take this and we're going to grab the lid. Then we're going to stick it on. Now you gotta be careful because it's super hot. Then you're going to make sure that it's on tight. It's not hot anymore. You're going to push down and you have to screw it finger tight so it's super tight so it no water can escape. So they are now out of the... Go ahead, do it again. You can do it again. 